Hello, my lovely Aquarius. Thank you for watching uh, my videos. I'm going to do a love reading for this week, 5 till 12 of July 2021. This is going to be a general reading, so it may or may not resonate for everybody. Please take what resonates and leave the rest alone. I'm a Dutch tarot reader, so uh, sometimes it may take a while before I can uh, come up with the right words uh, for your message. I also saw that there are people from India watching my videos and I was really blown away. Sure. I have love for everybody, so thank you for that. I love your food, by the way. I'm a, a Leo, so I really love uh, nice food. Um, I'm, I start off uh, with a couple of oracle cards from the Romans Angel deck. First card out for you was the card, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Second card out is the card Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. And the third card is a card Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Then I got three cards from the island Time Wellness. I shuffled the cards and took the cards that flew out. The jumpers. Uh, the first card out is lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, and transformation is the message on this card. Second card, the grim reaper. The relationship is over, no second chances, grow and transform your life. And then the third card, self-indulgence. Focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. So what I get from this card, it's a, these are opposite cards. We have here, give your relationship a chance, reconciliation. So maybe someone from the past is coming back to your, uh, to your life to have a flirt with you. Um, but then we have a sudden change. So that can be the change that uh, this person is coming back into your life. But the relationship is over. No second chances. Transform your life. Focus on yourself and your self-worth. Time to heal. So I don't know what happened with this person in the past. Um, and I don't know why the card give your relationship a chance is here. With all these uh, other messages on the table. So we're going to have a look. I'm going to shuffle the tarot for Aquarius for this week in love. Please give me three cards for Aquarius in love for this week. 5 till 12 July 2021. Love for Aquarius for this week. Please give me three cards for the general energy of Aquarius in love for this week. Three cards please, universe. Spirit. Please give me three cards for Aquarius in love for this week. Three cards, please. Whoa. Another card, please, for Aquarius in love for this week. Yes, thank you. First card out for you. King of Pentacles. Earth energy, so you might be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Then we have the Ace of Pentacles, very beautiful card. Also Earth energy. And then we have the Two of Wands, fire energy. So you might be dealing with an Earth sign or with a uh, Leo Sagittarius Aries. With these three cards, what I see is that there will be Coming an offer, a new stable offer or a change, a big, big change will uh, come in your life. It will be a sudden change for you, a shocking news with the lightning card here. Uh, it can be uh, from an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. A stable uh, person who knows what they want. Uh, family life, very important for this person, children. Um, this can be somebody uh, with a lot of abundance financially also and uh, with the two of wands it's uh, energy of making plans 
making plans for the future. Uh, we had a, the card here, reconciliation. So maybe, the, yeah, you, this is a person from your past. But it, this can also be a person you meet online or uh, through a mutual friends. We're going to see. I'm going to clarify first the King of Pentacles. Why is here the King of Pentacles for Aquarius? For this week in love, for Aquarius, the King of Pentacles. Please give me two more cards for the King of Pentacles for Aquarius in love. The King of Pentacles. Yes, thank you. One more card, please, for the King of Pentacles for Aquarius in love. One more card, please, Spirit Universe. Please give me one more card for the King of of pentacles for yes first card out the hanged one the hanged man second card knight of cups water energy cancer pisces scorpio and the third card out five of cups water energy again So what I see right here, because these uh, cards came out to clarify the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is a slow energy, but a stable energy. It can be that this king uh, wants to offer you something, but he has been uh, hanging upside down. Thinking about the situation, got an epiphany with the light uh, around his head. And like the card is saying here, epiphany with the lightning. This can be your energy too, uh, so please reverse the rules, how it fits your situation. This person uh, has, a, has had a time of um, being silent, thinking about things, looking at the situation before they will come with an offer, an offer in love. Or maybe an apology in love. So if it's somebody you already know, this can be, this person was hanging upside down, uh, realizing what they've lost, uh, being sad, thinking about things, um, emotionally upset, and wanting to come forward to you with an, uh, with a, with an offer of love or uh, to apologize. Why is here the Ace of Pentacles? Why is here the Ace of Pentacles? A big change. New beginnings with the Ace of Pentacles. Why is here the Ace of Pentacles for Aquarius for this week in love? Why is here the Ace of Pentacles, Spirit Universe? Please give me three cards for the Ace of Pentacles for Aquarius in love. Yes, thank you. Yes, one more card, please, for Aquarius in love. Why is here the Ace of Pentacles? Yes. Three cards out. And this card out wanted to come out too. It's flipped over. The Ace of Swords. So definitely uh, a big change coming into your life, Aquarius. Uh, this can talk about a communication. And uh, while I was shuffling, it came out uh, as a, a clarification of the Ace of Pentacles. So this can be a communication about uh, a new beginning, a new stable, uh, financial stable, emotional stable beginning. The three cards that came out for the Ace of Pentacles. First card, Eight of Pentacles, Earth energy again, Aquarius. Eight of Pentacles is the energy of working hard uh, for a situation to reach your goal. And the goal here will be a new stable beginning or making an offer for a new stable beginning. And then you have the world. Very spiritual card. Led by the universe. The universe sees all the hard work you put into this situation. And will give you the new beginning. The change with the Ace of Pentacles. An ending of a cycle and a new beginning with the world. It can be you're um, dealing with one of the fixed signs. Taurus, Leo, uh, Aquarius or uh, Scorpio. 
also your energy. The fixed signs don't like change, but with this card, the change will come. And you have been working hard for it. With the nine of wands, the wounded warrior still standing. You're not giving up. Or your person is not giving up on this relationship and wants to offer you a stable offer. This may come as a lightning for you, as a sudden change. It's shocking that this person comes forward. Why is here the two of wands? The card of making plans. New beginnings also. Why is here the two of wands for Aquarius in love for this week? The two of wands for Aquarius in love for this week. Please give me three cards. Universe for Aquarius in love. Why is here the two of wands? Two of wands, please. Clarify the two of wands. Yes, thank you. Two of wands for Aquarius. Two of wands for Aquarius. First card out, Seven of Wands, Fire Energy again, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, defending yourself, defending a situation, uh, defending your own um, thoughts, your beliefs, with the Hierophant, second card out, you might be dealing with a Taurus, a very traditional uh, person, with high... Uh, Standards of value, uh, yeah, traditional, uh, stable, home-based, uh, spiritual person. These two cards, this person, or it might be you, is defending their own uh, values in life, their own belief. And with the Wheel of Fortune, a very spiritual card too. So if it's you or your person, you're very, um, at this moment, um, connected with spirit. Following uh, the guidance it will offer you. With the Wheel of Fortune, it talks about uh, fortune, luck coming towards you. It might be that you're uh, at this moment uh, running around in circles and that will end. A new beginning will start because it's a clarifier on the Two of Wands making plans for a new beginning. Intuitively, uh, yeah, intuitively knowing is this card also the Hierophant? Standing firm, defending yourself, wanting to have a new beginning. Why is here the Wheel of Fortune for Aquarius? Why is here the Wheel of Fortune for Aquarius in love? For this week, why is here the Wheel of Fortune? Clarifying the two of wands. Why is here the Wheel of Fortune? Why is here the Wheel of Fortune? Whew. Wheel of Fortune, clarified by the Eight of Cups. Walking away from a situation. Ace of Wands, passionate new beginning. Passionate communication about a new beginning. And the Queen of Pentacles. Holding on to everything uh, you already built for yourself. Being stable. And standing in your power with the Queen. So I feel like, yeah, this was a, clarifi a cl clarification for the uh, Wheel of Fortune. So definitely uh, walking away from a situation because you stand strong for your own beliefs. You're defending yourself. You're walking away from a situation, walking to 
happiness and a new passionate beginning, Aquarius, will come for you and you will stand in your power and you will be stable and you will be in a loving long-term relationship. So you're leaving uh, a relationship behind, the relationship's over, it says here with the Grim Reaper card. Grow and transform your life. Definitely there will be a transformation with those uh, two aces, the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. Very passionate and um, a financial uh, stability. Focus on yourself. You're doing that. You're defending your uh, own values and beliefs. Oh, these are too much. And then give this new relationship, this new passionate offer a chance. Why? What is the outcome for Aquarius this week in love? What is the outcome, universe, for Aquarius in love? Please give me three cards for the outcome for Aquarius in love. The outcome for Aquarius in love. Outcome. Outcome for Aquarius in love. Seven of Swords, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, your energy. This is uh, energy of betrayal, backstabbing, uh, stealing, holding back something. So that's not a very nice card to get in your outcome. Four of Wands, the 11-11 card, make a wish, stable home, um, uh, a stable uh, marriage. Wish fulfillment and the Eight of Cups again walking away from a situation, and with the moon here, things are not clear. I feel like this card here in the outcome is a card of self deception. It can also be that this person you dealt with you dealt with in the past has um, betrayed you, backstabbed you. It can be that this was a person you were in a marriage with. You had a home, a sta stable home life with. Maybe you had children with this person. Uh, he backstabbed you, and he walked away. But this is for the outcome. So why is this in the outcome? Wow. Yeah, why is this in the outcome? This can be self-deception. I want to know why is here the Seven of Swords? Why is here the Seven of Swords for Aquarius in love? Please give me three cards for the Seven of Swords. Why is here the Seven of Swords for Aquarius? Please. Why is here the Seven of Swords? Thank you. Oh. Seven of Swords, clarified with the Knight of Swords, a very fast knight, goes after his goals, rushes in, but is easily bored, so, uh, and he can cause a lot of drama. Then we have the Knight of Cups, I feel like we have two knights here. This Knight of Swords wants to offer you a cup. Temperance. A card of waiting. Throwing wine uh, by the water. And wanting to have those two of cups with you.
clarifying the seven of swords. Please give me one moment. I think this person coming back already betrayed you in the past. He's now rushing in. But is rushing away from the offer. The Knight of Cups is offering. So just as fast as he came in, he went out. So please watch this person coming back to your life, offering you um, the Two of Cups, and the Four of Wands, because this can be uh, very deceptive. And this person can come in just as fast as he goes out again. And leaves the situation. Why is here the two of cups? Why is here the two of cups? For Aquarius in love. And then I have to wrap up the reading because I'm going on and on and on. But I'm very curious. Why is here the two of cups? For Aquarius in love. For the this week in the outcome why is here the two of cups we have the six of pentacle uh, pentacles equal given and take in a relationship we have the seven of wands again defending yourself fire energy so we got earth and fire and we got the two of wands again fire and we already got the two of wands so we got a lot of uh, sevens twos on the table making a choice between two As a clarification of the Two of Cups, a relationship with an equal uh, give and take. Um, defending yourself, uh, standing up for one's um, beliefs, goals. And making plans, waiting. I feel like this person is defending himself. Maybe defending the past situation between you two. Telling you he or she wants a equal give and take. And... Um, had been making plans to do so but with the seven of swords and the knight of swords i feel like it's a deceptive deceptive energy so please watch out aquarius this is what i have for you um i see them walking out again on you so focus on yourself self-worth time to heal you're beautiful you're lovable Appreciate yourself, please. Please let me know how it resonated for uh, you. Um, leave a comment down below. If you hadn't clicked the like button, please hit the like button right now. And I will highly appreciate it if you uh, subscribe to my channel so I can make it grow and uh, do another uh, reading for you in the future. Uh, 
I wish you the very best in this situation also. So uh, see you next time. Bye bye.